Hello. This video covers best practices for vacuum pump operation and specifically avoiding oil suckback. Oil suckback can occur any time there is a pressure difference between the vacuum pump intake, which is normally at the same pressure or vacuum level as the system being evacuated, and the vacuum pump exhaust, which is normally at atmospheric pressure. When the pump is connected to a system that is in a vacuum and it is not running, it is possible for the oil inside the vacuum pump to migrate out of the pump and into the system, filling hoses, manifolds, or other gauges connected to the system with vacuum pump oil. You can see the vacuum pump oil migrating out of the pump and up this hose to the manifold and the system. The quality and condition of the vacuum pump oil is an important factor in preventing oil suck back and maintaining good performance. Yellow Jacket vacuum pump oil is specially formulated for low vapor pressure and high vacuum pump efficiency. So we recommend using this oil in all Yellow Jacket vacuum pumps. It is best practice to isolate the vacuum pump from the system being evacuated before powering it off. The Super Evac pump has a built-in isolation valve which should be utilized. If using a bullet vacuum pump, isolate it from the system by closing the included ball valve between the pump intake and the system or manifold. Placing the ball valve as close to the intake fitting as possible will limit the volume that can fill with oil if oil suck back does occur. Once the system has been properly isolated from the pump and right before the pump is powered off, it's best to break the vacuum at the pump intake fitting by either loosening the evacuation hose or loosening one of the intake fitting caps. Once the vacuum is broken, the pressure across the vacuum pump is equalized, so the oil has no means to migrate out of the pump. It is now safe to power down the vacuum pump. Another scenario that can lead to oil suck back is when a vacuum pump is connected to a system that is below atmospheric pressure in a powered off state. This can occur during a recharge procedure when the charge is removed from a system for measurement, but the system is never opened and remains at the vacuum level reached at the end of the refrigerant recovery process. Even a system vacuum level of 10 to 15 inches of mercury can be enough to create oil suck back if the pump is connected before being powered on. With that said, it is best practice to power on the vacuum pump before connecting it to the system. This establishes the flow direction through the vacuum pump and clears out any oil that might be present in the vacuum pump cartridge or intake fitting. Once the pump is running, it is now safe to open the valve and connect the vacuum pump to the system. Following these best practices will keep the vacuum pump oil in the pump where it belongs and out of your hoses and gauges.